things are than monsters. <laughs> I know I might be exaggerating just a little bit with the intro. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another DIY and this time I'm going to show you how to take your boring keys that you may not know which one is who, for example, in the intro. I know that that doesn't happen, but sometimes I come to my house and I really want to go to the bathroom, but I can't find the keys because some keys look alike. Some of them are really, really the same. And so today I'm going to show you how to personalize your keys and they are really simple, really easy, really cheap, by the way. I really how my keys turned out I made all of them into different pictures to personalize them and I hope you like this video too guys because I enjoyed making it for you so yeah without being said let's get into the DIY Boop. you will need scissors and or exacto knife hole puncher optional mod podge either matte or shiny I'm using both paintbrush I know this is a makeup brush bear with me guys please a pen sandpaper and finally your keys First, you can get the image you want on your keys either from scrapbook paper, I got mine from Walmart and this set was only $5. Or the other option is get small pictures for magazine, you can use image of whatever you like. But you can also print pictures small enough to fit on the top of your keys. Once you have the image you want, set it aside, take your keys and the sandpaper. Mine is a rotary sandpaper that is actually a nail filer for dogs to file their nails, but I use this for DIYs. If you don't have this device, you can just use regular sandpaper. With the sandpaper, begin to file only the top of your keys. I repeat guys, only the top of your keys. This will get rid of the shiny coat on the keys and will help the glue adhere better. Now, take the image you want on your keys and place it under the keys where you desire your image to go and trace around the keys and the inner holes as well with a pen or pencil. Take either your scissors or your exacto knife to cut the image out. Cut a little bit more inside the pen or pencil lines. Trust me guys, you'll want to make that. And for the inner hole, I use a hole puncher because it's the exact same size of the hole on the keys. Once you cut the image and punch the inner hole, take your Mod Podge, I'm using the matte one but you can use the shiny one if you only have that. With a paintbrush, paint a thin even coat on the keys where you filed it, then place the image on top of that. Let it set for a few seconds, then brush a layer of Mod Podge on top of your image to seal it. If you have any excess paper showing, you can either cut it out or just bend it to the size and add a little bit more Mod Podge on top of your image. Let it dry completely, mine only took an hour and a half. And then give it a final coat, but this time with shiny Mod Podge, if you have it, but it's totally optional. If you don't want your image to be shiny, you can just give it another coat of made Mod Podge. If your keys have fold, like this kind of keys, repeat the first step, file it, Trace your keys around the image, including the inner holes, cut the key shape, and then with the help of your exacto knife, very carefully cut the inner holes out. Again, cut a little bit more off of the pencil or pen lines. Then repeat the same gluing process. Brush a thin layer of Mod Podge on the keys, place the image on top, give a layer of Mod Podge on top of the image and let it dry completely. Fold or cut any excess paper, once it's dry give it another layer of Mod Podge and then let it dry completely. And BAM! You have your very own personalized keys. Now you just want to memorize which image is for what key and you will no longer have to worry about mistaking them. Hope you like this video guys, I really love how my keys turned out. If you like this video and find it helpful, give it this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you already are, thank you so so much, you make me so happy. Also, all of my social medias are listed down below, like usual, and also in the screen. If you want to follow my non-awesomeness, or whatever, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. Bye guys, see you in the next video guys, love you.